first time in the World Cup. We did a really uh, a lot of work, um, and not only uh, uh, this preparation for the World Cup, but the last years. Um, uh, yeah, we, we um, managed to train more and more and more. Yeah, made big steps. And last year we promoted to the uh, to the A group, the best 12 European t uh, teams. This year we promoted for uh, the European Championship, the best eight. So um, step by step. Tahiti is great, it's paradise, I really love it. Uh, it's very interesting to see the, uh, not just the, the outside of Tahitian, but also the, the, yeah, the inland. Yeah, well, uh, Niels told me that's the first time I'm the oldest player, and uh, that I'm the, with the father and son, uh, this is, an, uh, how do you call it, an, uh, it's a unicum, I think. Uh, it, for me, it's very special. I don't. I think for Milk it's so special to play on a world championship with your son in a, in a game. Uh, it's special, um, especially for them. Uh, um, it's amazing that uh, uh, Roel can still play. He's 46 years, and he is um, every day training, training, training to to to, to stay in shape. Um, and I think it's at it, this age. It's really special that you can do uh, do it like this. And if you have a son who can play a, a good beat soccer as well, yeah, then you're lucky. Well, my career ended uh, not on the, uh, the nicest way. I got a really uh, big kick, and um, yeah, directly my, uh, my professional career was over. And then it took uh, one and a half year to uh, to recover, uh, to walk uh, normally again. And after that. Um, I got uh, involved with Beach Soccer. Uh, uh, I uh, organized an event uh, and uh, uh, I fell in love with the sport. And uh, yeah, that's how uh, the relation Beach Soccer and myself came.